Hi guys, welcome back. And today we'll be in the Fashion Wars in the Demon Spawn Crypt. We'll be doing stage 21. We'll get straight underway with the cost of 8 keys for the battle. In the team we have Duchess, Prince Kaimar, Kandrafon, Magnamar, and Intwith as our champions here. Void champion and legendary champions. Now they're not speed tuned these champions, you know, as they're used in different areas of the game, but they work quite well. We have champions which can give us the perfect veil. We can put the sleep stuns on our enemies. Increase attack for our own champions as well. Poisons. Now it is quite a fast speed team anyway, even though they're, they're not spe you know, made for this team for speed to be in order. But we do have Duchess at 263 speed. Prince Kaimari is at 289 speed. Yeah, Magma's at 200. Kendra Fons 177. And Imwith is at 204. So, you know, they are quite fast. You know, these champions are used in other areas of the game. So, you know, these champions like Prince Kaimari, Duchess and that, we, we will have them fully booked out because of the amount of areas we use them in different areas in the game. We can decrease the cooldown there. From Prince Kaima, it's one of the reasons why he's in the team as well. To get those skills coming back as soon as possible for our other champions. So you can see we've got those increased attack out there, the perfect veils as well. Occurring, we got the Always your round two fights, always your, your hardest fight. And once we get this done and completed, then we'll go into them. I'll go in and show the masteries and everything. I've got these champions set up, the gear they're in. So maybe if you have these champions, you know, you could use them as well then to, to get through this stage if you have a problem. I'll show you the stats as well. So if you can give them the same type of way, then you should be able to complete this level. Now I have with th three started the three start this level with these champions. With the boss here, you always want to try to get rid of those minions out of the way first. It saves them being attacked by those skills against you. Get some poisons out there happening. Now, it's not a heavy hitting team. It's not going to do massive damages and you know quickly or anything. But it is a team which is capable of winning the battles for you. We'll just let this battle play through, and once it's done, then we'll yeah, we'll have a look at the the setup of the masteries of the champions. Dusher's keys putting out those boosts. Shields up on the champions. We do you there to save the damage. Got those perfect bales happening. Increased tone meters. Decrease the cooldown there from Kaima. As you can see with their shields up, you know, we're not really taking any damage at all here, our champions. So this is what makes it a good solid three-star team. Now 
Okay, and that was a victory there in the Demon Spawn Crypt. We'll go in now and have a look how we got these champions set up. First off, we have Blood Twin in with Blood Twin. He is set up in Savage Set and Cruel Set. For some reason today in the game it's glitching out, it's not bringing the information up straight away on some of these sets, so you have to click in and have a look for you. He's on 30,878 HP, 5,428 attack, 1,753 defense, so you want to get as much attack as possible on him. Speed of 204%, 107% crit rate. Now he only needed 100% crit rate, but I didn't quite have the right gear just to do that, but going over it doesn't matter. Try to get as much crit damage as possible, so we've got him at 235%, resist 182, accuracy at 206%. His skills, we don't have any books on him, so you can just imagine, you know, if he had his books, he would be doing more damage. And his masteries, we have him set down into Hell Smash in the fence and defense roles. Next in the team, we have Kendrafon. Offense down into Hell Smasher as well and Defense Roll. Skills. We do have the books here on this champion. Artifacts. We have him in the Savage and a Critical Rate set. Total stats 35,354 HP, 5,306 attacks, so as much attack as possible. 1,808 defense, 177 speed, 101 crit rate percentage, 258 crit damage, so as much crit damage as possible on this champion, 193 resist, 140 accuracy. Next we have Prince Kaima. He is in two perception sets and accuracy sets, so you can see 505 accuracy. He's a champion where you want to put as much accuracy as possible on him. He's at 55,117 HP, 2,459 attack, 2,829 defense, 289 speed, crit rate 121. Now, we only need 100% crit rate, but I went over just because of the gear I put on him at the time. 121% crit damage, resist to 198, and 505 accuracy. Skills, he is fully booked out because he's a champion we use in a lot of areas in the game. Masteries, we have him on the fence and they have him down here in eagle eye to give the additional accuracy as well. Then we have Duchess. Duchess is in defense and support role. She is fully booked as well, legendary books. She's a champion which you use in a lot of areas in the game, so that's why she's fully booked out. I have her in two speed sets and an immortal set, so it gives her the high speed. She's in 68,399 HP, 1,854 attack, 4,060 defense, so a lot of defense on this champion when you build her. 263 speed, crit rate 38%, crit damage 74%, resist 569, so you have the high resistance so she can't get the stuns or anything. Accuracy of 124%. And last of all, we have Magna. Magna is in just a crit damage set. As you can see, I don't have all these items fully booked out. It's 73,646 HP, 1,827 attack, 2,229 defense, 200 speed, 99% crit rate. So if you get the 100% better, 199 crit damage, 156 resist, 140 accuracy. And as you can see, I don't have the items all maxed out. Skills. As you can see, I do have the books on this champion because I've used him in other areas of the game in the past. And I have him down in Hell Smasher in Offense and Defense. Okay, guys, thank you, and we'll see you on the next video.